When most people think of domestication, the first thing that comes to their mind is dogs. They are man's best friend, after all. But humans have domesticated many animals in the past, from pets like dogs and cats to farm animals like cattle and sheep. Domestication describes the evolutionary changes to a species due to a close and beneficial relationship with humans. The human self-domestication hypothesis links the evolutionary history of modern humans to this unique practice of domestication by suggesting that humans were actually the very first domesticated animals. We got to where we are by domesticating ourselves. In support of the hypothesis, researchers have drawn many similarities between the evolution of humans and common aspects of domestication, such as friendlier or less aggressive behavior, as well as the feminization of craniofacial morphology, or the transition of head shape and facial features to be more female-like. Whether you want to call it self-domestication or just how humans evolved, the human self-domestication hypothesis does bring up a good point. If living around humans caused these changes in other species, why wouldn't it cause the same changes in other humans?